My name is Professor Aspar Zaman. I'm Head of Comrie Intervention at Freeman Hospital, Newcastle uh, upon Tyne in the UK. So increasingly we, we are recognising that in spite of uh, mechanical reperfusion with primary PCI after ST elevation myocardial infarction, that certain patients, and this figure is up to 30% of patients, have no reflow or slow reflow. And this we believe is as a result of poor circulation in the microcirculation um, of, the, of the heart. And the importance is that patients who have this slow reflow or no, no reflow, around 30%, have a much bigger infarct size even though we have restored flow in the epicardial artery. So the gain for us is that if we can, re if we can improve microcirculation, we may be able to reduce infarct size. So this is something uh, that we are studying at the moment with, uh, within the trials, but what we do know is that the intermittent pressure increase as a result of the balloon inflating and deflating helps to improve flow in the microcirculation. This opens up arterioles that have uh, closed through spasm and by improving flow we remove the debris, we hopefully reduce inflammatory cytokines and this helps further to increase microcirculatory flow and reduce infarct size. So this is part of an ongoing study at the moment, but the early study from Prepare Ramesses suggests that we should start the pixotherapy as soon as uh, uh, possible. In the current studies that are ongoing, we are putting the balloon and starting intermittent therapy as soon as flow has been restored with either a wire, introduction of a wire or introduction of a balloon. So in, in, in summary, as soon as uh, possible after flow has been restored. So the procedure is, is, uh, is as follows. The patient comes in with an ST elevation myocardial infarction. The first thing we do is gain arterial access. Typically in our centre, 90% of these cases are done from the radial artery. We will engage the Comrie artery. Um, we will place a wire in the culprit artery. If that restores flow, great. If not, we will place a balloon in the Comrie artery and restore flow. Once that is done, we have a stable situation. We then look to uh, gain access from uh, the femoral vein, typically the right femoral vein. A sheath is introduced. Through this uh, uh, sheath, we introduce uh, a, a wire and the PIXO device is uh, then introduced over the wire. The wire is in the Conry sinus, obviously. The balloon is then deployed in the Conry sinus and it is uh, deployed at the mouth of the Conry sinus with the sheath uh, placed at the uh, at flow of the Conry sinus to hold the balloon in place. So if you look at all of the studies that have been done, uh, from prepare Ramesses and, and the current studies. So we now have clinical uh, studies in well over 50 patients. This has been shown to be a safe procedure and this is important because these are patients who are coming in uh, with ST elevation myocardial infarction. Um, the aim is to try and reduce the infarct size. So any procedure in addition to the mechanical reperfusion that is done has to be safe. And this procedure to date has been shown to be safe because uh, the technology that has been developed for the balloon is such that uh, the risk of rupturing the coronary sinus is minimized and we have not seen that at all in the trials to date. So the key thing is, of course, is to have the team, the cath lab team, involved very closely so that every member of the team, not just the operator but the nursing staff, the cardiac physiologists, the radiographers are all aware of this procedure, that you're going to do this procedure, that the console is placed in an appropriate position, the cardiac physiologist knows how to prepare the, uh, 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 the balloon, the operator knows how to prepare the balloon. 
So the goal is that this should be part and parcel of the primary PCI procedure.